My name is Michael Dana. In 2008, I was diagnosed with a rare brain cancer, and after six years, I was cancer-free. But the ordeal left me changed, with a different outlook on life and a new sense of priorities. While still recovering, I earned a degree in economics from UNC Chapel Hill. My studies taught me to analyze data and open my mind to see things differently. I also started formal training in the martial arts to better defend myself and use it as a means of extreme physical therapy. Since then, I've obtained black belts in three martial arts. I own and run a martial arts school and have logged over 51 teaching hours. To my friends and family, I'm a simple business owner. But to the martial arts world, I'm something else. I am Sifu Mike. And this is Dragon Theory. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I'm going to be talking to you about the martial arts lineage of a school and why it is and is not important. Now, if you have done martial arts before and you're in martial arts, you're doing it now, be sure to stick around and watch this video because I'll be giving away a little bit of business advice as far as lineage is concerned. If you've never done martial arts before, definitely watch this video because I'm going to be outlining just what to look for when you go to a school and they start spouting off the lineage, okay, and what that lineage is, and the reason why I keep saying it, I'm like over enunciating it because I don't want to like mumble and you know, I'm trying to like get that word out, lineage, all right, it is the heritage, it's the kind of family that the martial art is in, it's very important for the instructor to know what their lineage is and where they came from, who they came from, why they did this stuff in the first place. It's very, very important to understand the why behind a martial art. You know, why are you doing this? Most things were designed for a reason. They were designed to operate within a certain context and the instructor needs to know that context. That being said, it's not really a good selling point. Okay, this is where I'm getting into a bit of the the business aspect because the thing is you have to know your audience, right? And honestly, most people in the US are completely ignorant of most martial arts. Alright, and so spelling off your lineage like they know it isn't actually gonna be helping. Okay? It's uh it's very much the same as trying to go ice fishing in the Sahara Desert, okay? You gotta know your audience. It's not gonna work if they don't know it. So um, here's where you're going to be going because a lot of times people, they go to a school and the guys will be like, hey man, our primary martial art is this thing that you've never heard of and it has mixed in with this other martial art that you've never heard of and I was trained by this person that you've never heard of who was also trained by this person you've never heard of whose cousin has a page on Wikipedia and he trained with this other dude who's famous. That's kind of what it sounds like. All right, um, you know, it's just, it's just words. People don't know what it is. Remember, like I said in the, I forgot what video it is, but in one of my earlier videos, I specified that the main reasons why people go to a martial art are gonna be fitness and self-defense, right? Okay, neither one of those is actually a specific name of any martial art, right? And so they're not going to know what these martial arts are. Most of the time they, are just seeing out something that is the words martial art, right? Um, not something fancy that might as well be like an item on a menu, okay? In fact, I have a, a podcast, The Dragon On, where I talk about for like two minutes, I go through all the different martial arts that are taught in my school that I teach, right? And I say them like I'm ordering something on a menu. I'm like, I want one hop kendo with fried rice and chicken, some judo dumplings with a little bit of uh, Muay Thai and some uh, Yosakan Budo dumplings, noodles, whatever like that, and, you know, with some Taekwondo on the rocks kind of deal. I mean, it just, it just flows, man. Um, if they don't know what those things are, might as well be something on menu, okay? What you're doing when you about all these different names and as far as your lineage is concerned is that you're basically name dropping. Okay, you're not even just name dropping, you're glorified name dropping, man. You're like six degrees of Kevin Bacon name dropping. Alright, so the 
single best advice that I ever got from Lewis Black was that you should never name drop, all right? It's just, it doesn't look good for you. It doesn't look, it doesn't show that you are confident in yourself, all right? So that's what you should be talking about. You shouldn't necessarily be naming all the different people in the martial art who taught so-and-so, who taught so-and-so, who taught so-and-so, and taught you. What you should be doing is telling people why they should learn from you. All right, why you are awesome, okay? You're not awesome because they're awesome. You're not, they're not gonna be taught by these people who might very well be dead, all right? Uh, so they're gonna be taught by you, all right? And so you need to be telling them about you and what you can offer them and how awesome they can be, all right? So they should be naming off like the students, the people you've taught, the things that you do, things that you've done, not the things that other people have done, especially if, like, they're nowhere to be found, right? You know, it'd be one thing if your instructor who taught you is, like, over there in the corner kind of deal, and you're like, that guy, you know, he's awesome, because then you'll be talking about him as his place kind of deal. But if he's nowhere to be found or dead, then, hey, man, save it. Save your breath. Stick to the sales point of what you can offer the person who is going to be paying you, because they're there to do, right? And really... Knowing the name of the person who like developed a type of punching, right, doesn't help the person do that punching better. It's not like magical. Be like, you know, this type of punching is called so and so punching. That's gonna help you magically do it better because you now know the name of where it came from and who did it, whatever like that. It doesn't work like that, man. Um, wish it did, because I know a crap ton of stuff, but that's not really how people get better at physically doing a technique. They have to physically do the technique, right? Um, like I said, though, it's very important for the instructor to know all that stuff. But if you're just doing, if you're just like consuming, you know, like I'm just eating or whatever like that kind of food, you don't really need to know all the little nitty gritty details of that particular technique all right you just need to know like the basics of it now the thing is the people what i found is that the people who want to know that stuff or the people who know that stuff are the people that want to know that stuff sorry I'm a little dyslexic okay um that's going to happen to like organically i'm not going to be trying to force feed it down people okay um so the if somebody wants to know where something came from then they're gonna ask they're gonna find out they're gonna know the history about it if they just want to like hey i want to punch a kick do whatever like that fine okay so that's kind of the dividing line all right but like i said don't need to be name dropping okay you want to have confidence in who you are so when you go to a school right if the first thing they lead with was, hey, I'm, you know, we're doing this martial art that you've never heard of kind of deal, and we're this and this, and we came from this guy, we came from this guy, we came from this guy, you're like, you know, you can do without that. You want something or somebody who is really confident in who they are and what they're doing, and they're like, hey, man, I've been doing this for X amount of time, I got these amount of students, I've been doing this, I got this, I got this. You know, they're talking about themselves and what they're going to offer you. Because at the end of the day, you are what's gonna matter, right? Um, not, you know, people who aren't ever gonna teach you anything because they might be dead, all right? You are what's gonna matter, and that's what you're there for. If you want fitness, you want um, self-defense, then you need to figure out, hey, is this thing its name I can't even pronounce is that self-defense or is that fitness or is it sport what is it okay that's what you need to look for when you go into these different schools if you don't know anything you know ask them ask them the details that matter okay and if they're a good instructor they'll have the answers for that they'll be like hey I got this I do this is this all right I also I learned it from this so they'll have both if they know both all right so that's a big thing now having said that okay i know me and i know everything where like what box i fit into right so if you want to find out more about martial arts and the different techniques and how to do them just head over to the dragonmethod.com all right that's my website where i've got a whole bunch of videos about everything even teaching martial arts not just doing martial arts but like how you teach and 
or like get that information across to other people kind of deal. So got it all, man. Been doing it all. So it's right there at the dragonmethod.com. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and you know click the bell that's somewhere. I you know, I have no idea where it is. I really should. I mean, I've made like 200 some odd videos at this point, and I still don't know where that little bell is at on the screen. You know, I'm doing my best just to keep my eyes mm, on the camera and not like glancing over at me because, you know, I like to look at me. Anyways, um, but yeah, like, subscribe, follow, all that kind of stuff, and be sure to check out the dragonmethod.com where I got all kinds of video tutorials on everything that you can possibly think of. So, have a good one.